the topics we are discussing today are correlation and regression the most commonly used techniques for investigating the relationship between two quantitative variables are correlation and linear regression correlation quantifies the strength of the linear relationship between a pair of variables whereas regression expresses the relationship in the form of an equation for example in patients attending an accident and emergency unit we could use correlation and regression to determine whether there is a relationship between age and urea level and whether the level of urea can be predicted for a given age let us look at correlation by considering a scatter diagram a scatter diagram is a kind of data visualization in which we just plot the data points in a graph and we don't connect them by lines on a scatter diagram the closer the points lie to a straight line the stronger the linear relationship between two variables to quantify the strength of the relationship we can calculate the correlation coefficient in algebraic notation if we have two variables x and y and the data is taken in the form of n pairs that is x1 y1 x2 y2 etc xn yn then the correlation coefficient is given by the equation r of xy is equal to covariance of xy divided by sigma x sigma y it can be expanded as summation xi minus x bar into yi minus y bar divided by square root of summation xi minus x bar the whole square into summation yi minus y bar the whole square covariance is a measure of how much two random variables vary together it's similar to variance but where variance tells you how a single variable varies covariance tells you how two variables vary together and we have x bar is the mean of the x values y bar is the mean of the y values and sigma x and sigma y are the standard deviation of x and y respectively note that in a scatter diagram the response variable is always plotted on the vertical or y axis here the predictor variable is age and response variable is urea level the equation r of xy is called product moment correlation coefficient or psn correlation coefficient the value of r always lie between minus 1 and plus 1 a value of correlation coefficient closer to plus 1 uh, the positive value 1 indicates strong positive linear relationship that is one variable increase with the other Uh, and a value close to minus 1 indicates a strong negative relationship between the variables that is if one variable decreases the other variable increases a value close to 0 indicates there is no linear relationship however there could be some non linear relationship between the variables now let us move on to the topic of regression regression analysis means the estimation or prediction of the unknown variable based on the value of a known variable that is it is a statistical device to study the relationship between two or more variables if we are only having two variables that is one predictor variable or the independent variable and uh, one response variable that is the dependent variable such kind of regression models are called simple regression model if we have one more than one predictor variable then it becomes multiple regression model that is predictor variable is independent variable if we are having more than one independent variable then it becomes multiple regression model a simple regression model is less seen in real world problems so we can say that regression modeling is a statistical framework for developing a mathematical equation that describes how one response variable and one or more explanatory variables or independent variables are related in the above example if we are interested in the effect of age that is the independent variable or the x variable on urea that is the dependent variable or y variable we have to estimate the underlying linear relationship 
so that we can predict the urea level for a given age. The linear relationship means when we plot the data points, we get a straight line. Regression can be used to find the equation of this line. This line is usually referred to as the regression line. That is, we are trying to find a line so that all the plotted points lie in that particular line. This is not possible in real life. Uh, we will always have an error term added. So, uh, in the equation, we will always add an error term. The equation of a straight line is y is equal to mx plus b. We can relate this equation with the equation of simple regression model. The equation of the simple regression model is y hat is equal to x beta plus u, where beta is the parameter and u is the error term associated. And for multiple regression model, we have y hat is equal to beta 1 plus x2 beta 2 plus x3 beta 3 plus etc plus xn beta n plus ui where ui is the error term and betas are parameters. To estimate the value of y we have to find the uh, value for the estimated value for beta. We have to use the method of least squares to estimate beta. There are certain other methods too but usually we use the method of least squares to estimate the value of beta. By finding the value of beta, we get a balanced equation. This equation can be used to predict the value of response variable uh, when the values of predictor variables are given. That is, it can be used to predict the value of dependent variable when the value of independent variables are given. Independent variables are also known as regressor, explanatory variables, predictors, etc. And dependent variables have other names like regressant, predictant, uh, estimated, explained, uh, response variable, etc. In the topic of regression, we have discussed about regression line and about estimating the parameters in a line in order to predict the value of dependent variable and now we are discussing about uh, a method called curve fitting which helps in estimating the parameters. Curve fitting is a method of finding a specific relation connecting the dependent and independent variables for a given data so as to satisfy the data as accurately as possible. The method of least squares is one of the major method used to fit a curve. This method can be used to find the regression line and thus it helps in predicting the value of new data points. Now let us find how to fit a straight line using the method of least squares. The equation of a straight line is y is equal to ax plus b. To get the best fit we use the equations known as normal equations. Now we have to find the normal equations. In order to find normal equations, we take summation on both sides of the equation of straight line. That is the equation of straight line is y is equal to ax plus b. And when we take the summation on both sides, it becomes summation y is equal to a times summation x plus n times b. Since b is a constant, when we uh, take summation on b, it becomes n times b. That is summation y is equal to a times summation x plus n times b. This is the first normal equation. To find the next normal equation, we multiply the equation of the straight line by x on both the sides and it becomes xy is equal to ax square plus bx. Now take summation on both sides. Then it becomes summation xy is equal to a times summation x square plus b times summation x, summation x. This is the second normal equation. Now we have two normal equations and we can solve these uh, two normal equations to find the value of a and b. And these values of a and b can be substituted in the equation of straight line y is equal to ax plus b and this gives 
the equation of best fit using the method of least squares. Now let us move on and see how to fit a quadratic equation. A quadratic function has the form y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c where a, b and c are constant which are not equal to 0. The graph of a quadratic function is a curve and it is known as a parabola. Since there are three constant, we require three normal equations to solve quadratic equations. The first normal equation is obtained by taking the summation on both sides of the quadratic equation. That is summation y is equal to a times summation x square plus b times summation x plus n times c. This is the first normal equation. The next normal equation is found by multiplying the quadratic equation by x and then taking summation. Then it becomes uh, summation xy is equal to a times summation x cube plus b times summation x square plus c times summation x. This is the second normal equation. The third normal equation is found by multiplying the quadratic equation by x square and then taking summation. Then it becomes uh, summation x square y is equal to a times summation x raised to 4 plus b times summation x cube plus c times summation x square. This is the third normal equation. Uh, now we saw the three equations that is uh, three normal equations to find the value of a, b and c and then substitute these values in the equation of uh, or in the quadratic equation and uh, this gives uh, the best fit using the method of least squares. This is the equation of bus fit using the method of least squares.